On the left, we have St. Augustine Church. And then straight ahead is the home of Joan Rhodes, where we are going to go visit. We're here on a, an alumni study tour uh, um, with the class of 1979. And we've come down to see both the history of New Orleans and the contemporary culture and the man modern manifestations of that history. My name is Hap Bradley. I'm the assistant director of Cornell's Adult University at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting that we did a tour of the, uh, the Garden District and we're walking outside and not really uh, invited in anybody's house, so to speak. And on this tour, uh, being invited into Joan's house and kind of seeing you know, the inner workings of what goes on and really meeting a human uh, being and seeing it at that level and making that sort of connection. I think it kind of uh, grounded us in a sense of this is really what New Orleans is about uh, today uh, in, this, in this kind of moment in history and kind of what's going on in, in the post-Katrina area and also kind of how that fits into a larger legacy uh, of what it is. So, you know, I think you know you can read about New Orleans, you can uh, you can you can watch it on TV, and you can do all these things. But what we've really done today is experience it in a, a uniquely human way. I live in New York City, so I think that when it comes to cultural heritage, I have one of the greatest opportunities in my own backyard, but I realize there's so much more to the world than just that, and coming to New Orleans, where you can see everything, experience everything, it's incredible. This is my first time being on a tour, and usually I like to figure out what I want to do and blaze my own trail, go off by myself, but um, this has been so much in such a small time, I really feel like I got to know more than I would have on my own. I am a firm believer in educational travel. Uh, I think it's much more interesting than simply taking a tour guide and looking at sites. Uh, it's a much more inclusive experience, much more well-rounded experience, uh, and one that really makes uh, going a long distance worthwhile. This tour has been a wonderful opportunity to uh, not just go on a standard tour, but to have a small group uh, be given an opportunity to interact with uh, people who live here in New Orleans, to really understand the, the history and the culture. And uh, there's only so much you can learn sitting in a 45-person gray line bus as opposed to in a, in a small group uh, interacting with people in the community. I had read about the Indian costumes and the gangs and seen them on TV because I'm a Treme freak. But when I actually saw them and saw the reality of those costumes and the culture and the energy and the effort that went into it, it just blew me away. I just cannot express what it was to actually see see that part of the New Orleans cultural history um, in real life. And it made me want to come back and actually go to Mardi Gras and watch the gangs parade. It was, ju I, it was just amazing. I don't have words for it. It adds another dimension to touring, and it adds a whole other attitude and a lot of, lot of detail. And I've been to New Orleans a couple times in the past on business and done quickie tours, but it showed me a side of New Orleans that I hadn't really seen. I've never seen a, a Mardi Gras parade. I've never seen a second line. And to be greeted out here in front of, of the Healing Center by the spy boy and then to be brought in to the chief and to experience that even so briefly was just really incredible. 